Okay, <clears throat> this is my mitre box. Uh, I know it doesn't look so fancy. You don't need really good stuff to make a mitre box. This uh, <clears throat> this here is a straight cut, um, 90 degrees cut. It did very well, look at that. Um, the stitch is done with that. That's a 45, my previous mitre box had a 45 degrees cut. <clears throat> I'm doing this new one. I'm, I'm going to do uh, <clears throat> hexagonal frame. Huh? So I need a 60 degrees cut. Okay, that's 60 degrees here. Right, I have not cut this yet. Now, you may wonder why I put these two plates here. Um, look at this. I'm using this kind of saw. It's, it's wobbly when I saw, you know. So it gets bigger here. Uh, this is uh, already endured about 40 or 50 cuts. So look at that. The other side is reasonably straight. This is where I hold, uh, my hand is, so uh, it becomes bigger. So maybe if I do another 20 more cuts, it may no longer be accurate. So what I've done is uh, got some of this. This is actually links uh, um, I just bought from a hardware shop. This is to hold two furniture together. Um, so I just uh, have a groove here. Now. The back end of the blade, uh, the saw here may be too thin, huh? so you ne just need to give it a few more mm so that when the blade sticks in, it's just nice to move, right? Because the blade has to go through all this. Huh? So I'm going to cut both sides. I've done it both sides. I'm going to cut and uh, I'm going to make a um, 120 degrees uh, angle, so when that works out, I'll put up another video. Okay, people, um, <clears throat> I've already um, saw this thing. It's not all that difficult to do. You saw me putting in this earlier. Um, anyway, see, my blade is quite easily uh, goes through. Now, what I have here is a board. Um, this is just a plywood, a uh, quarter-inch plywood. Um, as I cut, it will scratch the base and then um, when this plywood get damaged like that, I'll just throw it away, put in another one so my base will never be damaged, it will be as good as, as ever. Um, this is what I've done here. Look, I shifted this up a little bit, um, makes it look nicer a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> um, my cut is nice, both sides has that. So this gap will never become bigger, right, because it's got metal uh, guides. Unlike that one there, you see, uh, this one is more obvious. I'm right-hander, so this is on the right side. So you can see this is more obvious. Uh, it's teardrop ready. This is still parallel. I went ahead and uh, made my first... This is what I really want to do at the end of the day. Um, I have not sanded the edges yet. I've just cut and put it together and it goes in so nicely. You can see, um, there's no gaps it fits in nicely it's just held together by the rubber band itself can I show you so I have not done any gluing or nailing not even sanding um, so this mitre box works um, now I am very sure if you, if you can afford a table saw or have the space for it uh, you won't even have to look at this but I live in a, a apartment building which is 13 stories high you know um, and I don't have that much space. I don't even have a garage space or a backyard where I can do my work. Everything I have to do is small scale. Um, so, but I still can do some simple work. You know, I saw something like this, uh, but it was painted nicely and uh, it was a better quality wood. It was selling for sixty dollars. Why not? <laughs> anyway, um, it's just one of the fun things to do. Okay. Good luck. Try. Bye.